Salutations ladies and germs, my name is Mr. Fox and welcome back to Destiny 2 and today we will be looking at the Brass Attacks, the surprisingly new weapon that was added, I know, seems like all we've been getting is D1 weaponry lately, but we have a new sidearm which has arrived with the Battlegrounds. It has 20 in the magazine, 325 RPM, reload speed, stats. It's just kind of middle of the road. In terms of perks, we have Rampage kills with this weapon, temporarily grant increased damage, stacks up to three times, threat detector, increased reload speed, stability, and handling. When in close proximity, could have done better with our magazine. We have appended mag, increases the mag size by about four. So that's like just two extra bursts with this thing. Didn't really care about the alloy mag. Arrowhead break greatly controls recoil, as well as handling. We could have chambered compensator, but I'd rather just stick with arrowhead. As I mentioned, hard hitting two burst fire, so you're firing two shots. There's quite a bit of damage, so hopefully this doesn't suck. Oh boy. Giant map, tiny sidearm, what could go wrong? I don't know where these maps are when I'm using scouts, but... I'm beyond questioning it. Destiny is going destiny. Now the key to never being disappointed by destiny is to just have zero expectations for this game. Because if you expect, like, don't expect they anything. That's the best advice I can don't give. Captured. You have Otherwise, you're going to get let down, disappointed, and left wondering, where did it all go wrong? And I can tell you, it's... Oh, I'm trying to put my finger on it. I mean... Shadow Keep? I mean, the armor change. I can't remember if that was when the armor changes and mod changes. I think that's when the mod changes came in, but. Everything else that occurred after that wasn't exactly the greatest. Now, can you. What the hell, Luna? Feeling nostalgic, are we, huh? Advantage. Surprised it killed me so quick. Ah, uh, Bungie. Sun setting, unsun setting, sun setting, the sun setting. Down. Down. Now, it would have been cooler if I did that and didn't die. But, can't fire fast enough. Still think the three Rember sidearms are the way to go, but who knows? I mean, you're doing 45 to the head, which is pretty good. Now hold them. Though sadly, I'm pretty sure we're just down to like the bottom dollar, this sidearm and a few other sidearms. The hell? Somebody made an oopsie. Oof. Zone A captured. That's a power play. No! You took if you keep power I'll playing, hold. you're gonna mercy them, and if you mercy them, I can't do my things. Please cap the zone! That's way too much damage. I hate that super so much. <laughs> like, wouldn't be a problem if it wasn't going through walls, buildings, general shenaniganry shit. That is not my sidearm. Now hold. Double down. Don't be lost. Now 
double down. This is amazing. Shut the enemy down. Enemy. Yeah, I'm getting the nerf. I, I I get why that's being nerfed. Like a lot of those scenarios, I wouldn't live if I wasn't on stasis. You know. Zone advantage is yours. Uh, so I understand the nerf. Bit of a bummer, but. Such as like they have advantage. Now if I can keep my engagements around this area where it's like close quarter ish. Can you just try to hawk me, sir? Don't see captured. Know what? That sounds like a bad idea. That also seems like a bad idea. We're just surrounded by bad ideas. I love it. With ten hunters like you, I could make the frontier safe again. Five minutes left. Keep it up. But you gotta murder him before I can murder him. Huh? Not cool. You captured Zone A. That's a power play. You took them. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Why you gotta call it, man? I'm pretty sure we were close to where we ran, you bastard. Maybe. Your victory was it 10? I think it was 10. I don't know. Yeah, it's a good sidearm. And stasis is dumb. But it's a good sidearm. Now, it would be cool if control would show me the streak I was on. You, you know, just, just saying. That, that would be something. That would be something. And Mr. Fox, where's the enthusiasm for the game? I, it's just been shot out of me in the back of the head execution style you, you know it's just like a lot of the guns they added were just guns we've experienced already from D1 and I get why you bring it back you know fan nostalgia and all but man how many guns are actually new did they add I know the bottom dollar is one, Salvager Salvo is another, this thing. And I think the rest are like special weapons. Oh, there's that bow. Forgot about the bow. Oh god, the bow. Oh no. Why? I don't want to do a bow. That's even less fun than a sidearm. Well, yeah, brass tax with rampage. You can do things provided the enemy's frozen and not shotgunning you. Or not trying to shotgun you off the rip so you can sidearm them fast enough before they shotgun you in the face and you die and feel miserable and wondering what you're even doing with your life. Why are you recording Destiny? The game is betrayed you and stabbed you in the back time and time again, yet you keep coming back. It's a terrible, abusive relationship, but here we are. With the brass attacks, it attacks things, it reads at them, it's tiny. It's like that gun that Tommy Lee Jones gave Will Smith and Men in Black, but it does the thing. And it does it well. It's pretty good. I like it more than the single-shot sidearms, but I still Ill think three bursting sidearms have a faster TTK. Correct me if I'm wrong. But they just. They feel better? I don't, I don't know. We haven't had any in a while, I don't think. And there's a full auto ones that are pretty nice. But if you feel so inclined to pick this up, you know, change the pace from your shotgunning ways, it is in the battlegrounds or focusing your umbral. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have an amazing day and stay classy.